What's up, everybody? Good morning. Well, depends when you're watching this, but it's morning for me. It's Saturday morning. I'm heading out to Burlington Supercharger in North Carolina. I'm helping the Raleigh Tesla team do ride and drives and talk to people about Tesla. And I'm helping them just show the cars and talk about talk to people about the cars and just have a fun day with people like you guys that are interested in Tesla, that haven't driven a Tesla, that want to go for a test drive in a Model X, Model S, or Model 3 all performance that's gonna be fun it's raining today uh, it's supposed to rain there till about noon and hopefully for the next two hours it's not too bad once I get there hopefully the Sun actually comes out and we can have some fun with some people and have a blast there's gonna be a few there's gonna be a few friends that are gonna be there kind of hanging out and talking Tesla that's gonna be a that's gonna be a fun day I'm gonna be filming some hopefully there's some people that know me uh, from the channel and allow me to go on the test drive with them. Be part of that experience with them. So come join us. So it's very cold out today. Well, not really cold out. It's not like a, a, up north. But it's 40 degrees, rainy, windy. It's it's really not ideal for looking at cars, but there's such a good turnout. I'm, I'm surprised how much turnout there is today uh, to come to test drive these cars. people actually showed up and it's great to see how many subscribers showed up you guys are awesome and showed up to help out so, you know we love talking about Tesla and we love showing people about Tesla and it's just a great opportunity to you know give back a little bit I guess push the mission forward there were some heavy spots where there was a lot of people there then there were some down times where we sat in the cars with three Tesla employees that were there talked about you know some of the things that I can't put on video for you but you know it was great to talk to them great to meet them and see a different side, a different store, different people. And I, I did get to, uh, I did get to go on a test drive with somebody. I got his permission to film. I sat in the back seat of the uh, Performance Model Three. I'll show some of the footage now. This is very futuristic. It's just that, and there's no other mm -hmm. stuff. It's very different. It's hard to. I've never driven an electric car, so it's hard to. Wrap my head around it, really. It'll take you about a week to get used to that, maybe a week and a half, and then and then you'll love it because you only have to hit the brake to actually come to a complete stop. And then you go uh, into a, a regular car and you feel like you're in a <laughs> something arcade. Flintstones car. Oh my goodness, got some acceleration, doesn't it? <laughs> that was nothing. Oh my god, it was like the rock and roller, rock and roll roller coaster in Disney. <laughs> and I didn't even push it all that yep. hard. Not completely, but it's keep at least one hand on it so I can feel that you are there. It's going to show you all the cars you have on the map. I was going to say, can you set speeds and everything? Because yeah. it automatically... It's probably here on this one. It's probably up or down. To, to adjust it. Yeah, up to bring it up. All the way up. It's going to go over by itself. One, one leg at a time. It's just going to come over by itself. Oh, that's what's going to take over. It'll put the turn signal on for you and everything. Wow. So it's going to tell you how many feet you have to take over. And anytime you want to turn that off, you just put your foot on the brake, you override it completely. Yeah, sure. So you have con complete control. Yeah, you just tap on the brake or you could just push the gearbox up a little bit. You should give it a little bit here. That's not, that's too little. <laughs> it's still hard to believe that there's not a gasoline engine running right now. So 
And it's not even a hybrid like it's switching. It, no. It's not even there. This is way past hybrid technology. Wow. Yeah, I really got interested because when they put all those in, I thought, wow, that's a lot of charging yeah. stations for Burlington. How about safety-wise and crash testing? And Oh, I haven't read anything about five that. Five out of five stars. Well, everything, every category is the safest car in the world. Actually, the top three cars are Teslas. Yeah. It's Model this S, is Model X, one. and Model 3. Model S is number two and Model X is number three. Is it mostly because it kind of takes care of itself and avoids Actually, those no. type of things? The or? structure of the car. Yeah, the structure. The, 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 it has uh, a lot of crumple space. So you don't have the engine pushing into the cabin if you're going to exit it. You know how, you know, when you crash in the front, the engine comes up forward and you still oh. have that. Yeah. But also you're actually taking some of the impact of the person that hits you mm -hmm. and you're saving them a little bit. And then everything underneath you is battery and it's solid structure. That's why it's so safe on the inside of the car. And there's a ton of space in this car. I'm six foot five, by the way, sitting in the back seat. I'm not that tall, but I, I know <laughs> how it is to be cramped in the back seat. And I, I don't think I've fully um, experienced that acceleration. No, you haven't. And then you're on a hill hold. That way you won't roll at all. No, it's almost like a parking brake. Yeah, take it in this mm -hmm. front. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sure. This front. I can tell you, you gradually push down the pedal. Next time, stomp on it, and you'll have more of a reaction. It'll throw you back. On the accelerator? Yeah, just stomp it on it like there's a bug on it. Only just stomp it. Mm -hmm. Probably like a 60% battery. Yeah, it's this, yeah, this is, it gets more when you're full. Oh, really? Yeah. I just, we just finished a marriage conference. I literally, yeah. with your cousin, oh. and if I even talk about buying this right now. Well, just bring up the safety stuff, not the zero to 60. Yeah. <laughs> she might not quite enjoy it as much as that. <laughs> and that's all you have to do. I feel like I should turn it off. No, it turns off by itself when you get out. Yeah, thanks a lot. It's a nice car. Good to meet you. You too. Appreciate it. So when we got back to lunch, there was a lot of people there still, and we got to have some fun with a car. Uh, someone brought their P3D out there, and I was able to borrow, well, footage from somebody else. He had a 360 camera, so we mounted the 360 camera on top of the uh, P3D, and he let me do donuts and on track mode. We're gonna go away from them first. Do you have a place, a specific place in mind, or are you gonna do it right here in front of the dealers? <laughs> okay. I shouldn't have done it's the, uh, I should have brought the GoPro. It's got a wider field of view. They're all watching. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> got, Holy got shit. <laughs> <This is> Whoa. That's <laughs> 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 hilarious. Come on, church bus. <laughs> It's amazing. That's <laughs> amazing. Brian Brian <laughs> really Brian really loves that. I really want yeah. The reason we were out there was to, to talk with people that have the cars, experience the cars, and live with the cars all the time. You know, the salespeople can say, you, you know, you just charge it at home or you go to a supercharger, but you talk to someone that lives with the cars every single day, you know, it's a little different perspective there. So kudos to Jason for contacting me. He's a salesman who set all this up and now it's going, it's probably going to go across the country. All the sales teams are going to be doing this, setting up different stuff because you know what? Tesla's not just the average car company. They're different, so why not do things a little differently? Get on, get on board now. Go get your Tesla. There's no referral program now or anything, so you know this isn't me trying to push anything out there, but it's just an amazing car. It's great to enjoy this car and live with the benefits of it now. Autopilot. I'm driving on autopilot. Actually, it's driving on autopilot. I'm totally safe here. Jesus, I think 6,000 pounds. Tell a friend 
about Tesla. Tell a friend about me, about the channel. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all, everyone that came out today to help. Let's keep this community going. Not only the subscribers chatting in the comments below, but let's get more groups together, more Tesla people together. Let's let these channels merge a little bit and get this community to grow a little bit better, more positive. Think it can happen? Maybe one day. Anyway, enjoy these cars now. Be like this kid. Just be so happy to be around a Tesla. This kid was amazing. But that's the way you feel when you buy a Tesla. You're just so giddy about it and you just want to drive it. You like this car? You gotta talk your parents into it. Yeah. Keep running around the car all day doing this. Yeah. Who needs college? Yeah. <laughs> stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one.